Hi, this is Billy Bean here with a U.S. News update. Today's date, February 22, 2024 time, about 2 p.m. in Texas, episode 139. Some of the things we'll cover, the sun and blackouts, signs in the heavens, Texas intel, and train, planes, trains, and truckers. Some of my sources are God in the Bible, Patriot, Subscribers, Daily Mail, BP Earthwatch, Hal Turner, Stork Dork, Suspicious Observers, Space Weather, a recent interview by David Nino Rodriguez of Sheila Hove. So let's get started. I have some comments from Patriot subscribers talking about different weather phenomena that's going on so let's draw a map to begin with and we'll use that when i'm talking about the upcoming eclipse okay we've got florida texas california so i have a patriot subscriber in idaho who's talking about fog and we had fog in texas also and in louisiana i had some comments on that so driving to north idaho this would have been on the 19th of february the fog was so bad i had to pull over and park for a few hours and now i have this about ashley babbitt she's the crisis actor that played the part of an individual being shot in a J6 event. Ashley's mother goes to the DC jail every night and sings the national anthem. I submit the possibility that Ashley Babbitt's mother may also be a crisis actor. Okay, I have this uh, talking about President Trump the deep state tries to steal his money it's unconstitutional lawfare that's right truckers in new york we won't deliver and also companies are canceling uh, orders to go to new york city because their drivers don't want to deliver and i have this uh about the recent videos I put out about consent and it's talking about Nuremberg the Wuhan pharma for the arm no consent and I have another one about consent to put in food and water or the air meds without our consent um, they're not taking it well my Patriot subscribers. Okay, and DC, our great is our greatest enemy, spends money on wars, oppresses citizens, has abandoned the US Republic, encourages Marxism invasion, and supports genocide. Yes, that's true. Uh, another Patriot subscriber talking about illegals. Chicago is getting millions of them. Another Patriot subscriber, pray for New York. We will. I have another Patriot subscriber who said, I had a dream. There was a volcano that exploded under the ocean. That would be the Atlantic Ocean. And a tsunami hits New York. Yeah. Uh, there have been several... Uh, prophets going back decades who've had similar dreams. Yeah, so that's going on. I have another Patriot subscriber talking about the illegals. They're coming in the northern border. They fly into Canada without ID or visa. Then they're led by the NGOs to the U.S. border. And they cross in New York. We're seeing many Chinese and Middle East uh, you know, young military age man, men. Yep, 
That's going on. I have a Patriot subscriber who's talking about the Constitution says when all three branches are corrupt, that would be um, Congress, legislative branch, executive, the president, and his cabinet, his or her cabinet, and the judicial branch, that would be the Supreme Court. When all three are corrupt, the military is supposed to step in. Where are they? I believe the U.S. military is uh, working with President Trump. So that's going on. Now we'll begin to talk about, okay, last night within hours we had from the sun, we had two X flares, and that sends energy to the earth that disrupts radio waves, ham radio. But what we're seeing now is a massive blackout. Now, BP Earth Watch is also putting forth some information. Suspicious observers uh, has said uh, some time ago that the electromagnetic shield around the Earth is down about 35%, and I would agree with that. I studied that in college in the 90s. It's been going down consistently. When that happens, when the electromagnetic shield around the Earth is weakening, then uh, energy from the sun impacts the Earth more. But these two X uh, flares are impacting this area and this area over here. And what we're seeing is massive um, outages all across the U.S. I know in Texas, it's in Houston and in Dallas. And we have Boston, New York, uh, Los Angeles. San Francisco, Seattle, but it's all across the U.S. So we have, uh, yeah, that was Sunspot AR3590, put out two X flares, and more explosions are, uh, like CMAs, are possibly more Xs are predicted to come. And these X flares were made up from space weather, unstable beta gamma delta magnetic fields. And we see this. So yeah, BT is talking about um, the X flares affecting the Earth and taking down. And I agree with BT. He says... Uh, I believe we're, we're not getting getting all the information, and I would agree with that. And, and also, Mike from around the world is regularly on Pastor Paul Bigley's Thursday night program. We believe Mike works for uh, NSA or FEMA. He gets government information. Their data is much more in-depth about space than what the public receives. And so BP puts this out. I believe we could be getting false information. And he says you cannot manipulate live images, but you can manipulate models. I would agree with that. And now we have, yeah. So we have the internet cell. It's expanded to cable TV services. Uh, so we have cell, internet, cable TV, plus. And it's affecting now millions across the U.S. and up into Canada. And uh, down into Orlando, Florida. We're experiencing the impact. It's also in Hawaii and Honolulu. It's in New Orleans. So, yeah, that's going on. And it began uh, early this morning about the same time that those X flares would have reached the Earth. 
So the outage with AT&T, Verizon, Cricket, Google is also experiencing some problems. The cell and internet and cable, millions are affected. And we have this uh, from Daily Express. Uh, now, Hal Turner had some insider information from AT&T about the outages who said there are core changes to the infrastructure, and that would be of their platform, hardware, and software, and that it's just going to require a wait for the configuration files that are new to be picked up and uh, assimilated by the system. So we're seeing there are concrete changes to hardware and software, and it's believed uh, by many, this is from the impact from the sun. We've been seeing an increased impact now for all this last year, and uh, many associate that with some type of space event, galactic waves of energy, uh, Nibiru, Project uh, Planet X, and so on. But we know that's been going on. Now we're seeing it impact our systems. So what we're going to talk about now are signs in the heavens. So we know about the, so this is Eagle Pass, Texas. And inside Texas, we have a Jonah, Texas, and we have a Nineveh, uh, Texas. So we have a uh, eclipse coming up supposed to pass this way all the way up it's going through seven cities that are named Nineveh and we know that Nineveh was the city that Jonah who was in the well for three days finally went and preached and the people repented so I believe from this we're seeing a message of from God to repent. That would be America. And now we had another um, solar eclipse a few years ago that came across this way. And supposedly this is being brought out by Sheila Ho. She's a Christian lecturer and author recently interviewed by David Nino Rodriguez. Six cities that are named Salem. And the biblical meaning of Salem is peace. So I believe we're receiving a message from God. Repent and pursue peace. But wait, there's more. And uh, Sheila Ho brought this out. She received this from God. Now, in uh, 2021, there was also an eclipse, a partial e eclipse, that actually came down to Canada and uh, crossed over into the U.S., something like that. And what Sheila received from God is this shape in modern Hebrew. And I looked it up. In modern Hebrew, this is called a T-Z-D-A-I shape. And what it means is for individuals to be servants, obedient, humble, and also the Spirit of God. So I submit we see God using His creation, the Son, to give us several messages 
across the way and one of them is a symbol in ancient and modern hebrew for the name of god so going through seven cities nineveh repent six cities salem peace and oh where they will intersect that's on april 8 2024 there's a city in missouri that's where they cross uh, that uh, has both salem missouri and nineveh missouri now sheila ho's interpretation is this is not so much an x as it is a cross so i believe god is giving us a message to united states putting a form of his name representing the holy spirit pray repent and pursue peace so i say i believe god is giving a message to the united states no more money for war and weapons so that's going on and also on the day we have or near several days uh, when we have this eclipse april 8 2024 we're going to have in the heavens also four to seven planets lined up so yeah that's going on and we say thank you jesus so if you ever think that God has forgotten about America, I would say no, and that he is communicating with us through the sun. And now we'll talk about, oh yeah, also uh, when that uh, solar eclipse comes, April 8, 2024, we also have a comet coming in that's 12 p ponds brooks comet so here's the earth and the sun and this comet is going to be close to the sun and when we have that eclipse looking using our eclipse glasses we should be able to see the comet uh, and the area of the sun and astronomers believe this comet will increase in brightness between February 22 to April 8 by 40 times and that it would will be visible when we have the eclipse. Now, I don't know what the meaning of the comet is yet. But I submit, I believe God is communicating another message from uh, that comet. So we'll have to see. Okay, now we'll talk about what's going on in the U.S. So we've got Texas and Eagle Pass, Texas. And we know that recently... Uh, the great governor of Texas, Greg Abbott, joined by 25 other governors, uh, 26 out of 50 states, are united against the evil and corrupt and ineffective U.S. federal government, pursuing a constitutional right to be free from invasion of our borders, uh, rightfully, the U.S. federal government is to protect the states, but the current U.S. federal government has abdicated its role under our Constitution. So the state governors are stepping up to the plate, and uh, a military base will be built in this area uh, under the... Um, uh, department texas Depart military department will house 1800 to 2300 military and this from newsweek uh, uh an article about uh, texas and the invasion and it says newsweek reached out to the white house 
on February 19, and they received no comment from the White House. And now we have this. Oh, yeah. In Colorado, Denver, we had been seeing a flood of illegals uh, going into Denver, which was a designated sanctuary city. And then Denver, um, or the governor of Colorado, tried to send them to Lakewood City, Colorado, and the people rose in protest and said, we're not a sanctuary city. Now, a second city in Colorado is following suit, and that's Monument, Colorado. No, we're not taking illegals, and we are not a sanctuary city. So we see all across the U.S., even under Democratic governors that the people are uniting with Texas and 25 other states and their sentiment saying no to the illegals. So that's going on. And Center Square reports that uh, all, all of the counties in Texas have declared... Um, a state of emergency due to invasion. And this new information globally, 60 nations have also uh, declared states of emergency against the invasion of cartels, drug, uh, drugs, and trafficking. So that's going on. Fox News reports Chinese illegals are at the Texas border. And I had that information from a Patriot subscriber and others about the Chinese and Middle East military age men also coming across our northern border. And that they are trying to cross uh, across the U.S. southern border. The numbers uh, represent a new record. And uh, even in San Diego, California, Saturday through Monday, about a three-day period, they apprehended 500 Chinese military age males who were trying to cross over San Diego, California. So we see an ongoing problem here with illegals coming in from every direction. And now we have this. Ah, the truckers. The truckers are not going to be making deliveries that began Monday, uh, February to 21 about February 19 for seven days to New York cities and as I said many companies are also not going to ship now a trucker had inf insider information a lot of company trucks are also not going to deliver and now we have this all right so we know our economy in the last three years correlating to the evil and corrupt JB regime. We know that's been going on. And what we're seeing now is an increase in the cost of food, gas, housing plus. And this is being reported by economic collapse. In the U.S., the average household is spending $1,000 plus more per month than they were three years ago. And now we have this, uh, that Martin Armstrong with his predictive Socrates software the New York City will soon be out of money 
due to illegals. And we have New York City tries to seize President Trump's businesses to cover that $350 million fine because he borrowed money from the bank, paid it back early, the bank was happy. But we see lawfare going on in New York. And we have this. New York City, uh, according to Martin Armstrong, New York City has become a sewer of legal corruption. Fox Business, yeah. Now this is about the Boeing planes. So this is Boeing. This is their 737 MAX 9s that have literally, uh, parts have almost been falling out of the sky. We recall about uh, three or four weeks ago, a plane in Alaska had a auxiliary door fall off. They had to turn around, make an emergency landing. Since then, almost every week, I see something about Boeing 737 MAX 900 problems, things falling off. Now, the most recent event happened on a plane that was going from I think, San Francisco and it was going to Boston, but oh, part of the wing fell off. So they had to make an emergency landing. It was a Boeing Max 9 plane. So I suggest when you're going to fly that you find out what kind of plane it is. The wing came apart and they had to divert in Denver for an emergency landing. Now we have this report, the guy that was the head a Boeing 737 MAX 900 division, Ed Clark, for 18 years, resigned February 21. So that's going on. Be careful with those planes. And now a short prayer. Warrior Creed, I received from God September 5. We pledge allegiance to God the Father, creator of all. We come under the banner of God through the blood covenant of God the Son, Jesus, whom many call Yeshua. We are taught warfare by God, the Holy Spirit. And we see the symbol of the Holy Spirit will be completed over America with this upcoming eclipse, April 8, 2024. And we say, thank you, God the Father, God the Son, Jesus, whom many call Yeshua, and God the Holy Spirit. I say to my family and friends, remain steady out there. Continue to pray. God is in charge, and He is on the move. I love you, and I'll see you soon.